Hello guys! If you've seen my older video about my shell, what I made, that just like replaces the classic taskbar from Windows 11, uh, this little desktop and like this, uh, start menu and stuff, well, then I made really good improvements to the shell. It's not still the perfect, don't judge me, but I tried my best, and that is also the reason why it is not a full release. I'm still here Windows 11 and didn't have the shell install it yet. So, first thing what I'm gonna do is to show how to install it right yeah, now. I will change the background to dark mode, so let me, uh, let's see how it will cost to me if I want to buy it from Microsoft legally. So yeah, I have not activated Windows yet, so let's see why they open Microsoft Store. Only for 350 USD? Bro, you know what? I will pirate it. Wait, I cannot do that. Oh, wait. Unless I know one alternative to buy a cheaper product keys on keysfan. Dot com on Keithfan offers one Windows key for just $29.99? Yo, I'll definitely buy it. This is much cheaper as Microsoft intended. So I got the product key, so I just hit change, make here the product key, and look at that, I have successfully activated Windows in much cheaper price, so I can finally change my theme to dark mode theme. Ah, much better. Keysfan also offers you more cheap product keys for your games, software and anything what you can think of. Thanks Keyfans for sponsoring this video, definitely check it out, link is in the description. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is to open up your browser, so yeah, this is a, oh my, this is now a browser that is like commonly on Windows 11, and yeah, I use Supermium as default, but because I'm lazy to install another one, then I'll just use Microsoft Edge. Well, that's no matter. This version of Windows, gonna let me win that, is like not 20... 5H2, but anyway, um, you will go to my link in the description, so I'll just go to it manually, so git up, my username, no luck please, KL shell, and there we go. So, this is my site, or like github site, where the shell is stored. I'm like noob on github, so if you like found some uh, like stuff, for example, uh, I don't know, maybe don't fit into this project, then I'm like sorry, I like tried my best, you can even watch my live stream, how I try figuring out how I should do that. Well, you can become a channel member if you want some of this project, because I like took this a really long time ago, like in the year 2023, I started this project and it goes like to this year. And for surprise, it like works. Like for example, if I then skip this virtual machine. And look at that, I have my shell installed here and like, yeah. I will talk about some of the features here in this video. If you are here, you can go to tags and just go to my latest release. I don't know why this says tags, not like releases. Like if you go to releases here manually, it can then go straight up to this. Probably it is because it is not main release I use, but still, okay. I'm like noob on GitHub, again I'm saying this, but what I know about is like if you go like to the code here and just download the zip file, it will download all those contents and not worry, those are safe and if it is open source you can feed even the source code, so just download the zip file. Yeah, it should be like this. You will now extract this, those files, so consider these. Um, so, did you know that what I mentioned on my older video, that the shell installer, like, 
doesn't work and it was just like for the look and how it will be look in the future. I really do not recommend you to do this that way. The better way is do it manually because it can mess up some files and etc. Well now is the future and now the shell installer is working. Well it may contain again some bugs but for this I have the github to just share you the bugs and set. Well, if he is somebody noob and don't want to install it manually, well, then just run this shell installer and, well, okay. You must also, if you don't have, like, net frame rate, don't love it, so the shell will, like, mention it to you, so just don't love it. We'll go to the Microsoft side where Everything will download it to you, so basically the stop runtime, so just click yes, install everything. Well, and then also go like here, even if you know you have net framework 4.8 installed, then just like go also to this site, what I mentioned in my GitHub page, and just go like for, for example for the offline installation, it is again from Microsoft. After that, then the installer will tell you if you already have this net framework installed. I got a lot of questions, like for this shell, if it will be working even on all the Windows. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yes, you can go even to Windows Vista if you try to manage install net framework 4.8 even i think even windows xp but in windows xp there will be like some problems because my shell uses one code that records an accent color on windows and this option has been added on windows vista so if you try properly run this on windows xp or even lower then i guess it will not run but anyway the Mine thing it needs to run is actually this framework. So you can run it on Linux, just like Aba do that. After you checked that this is installed on your PC, just go to the mine installer, shell installer, just double click. Wait, what? How oh, it can detect it? It's a bias. Uh, anyway, um, I don't test it with the Windows Defender, well, anyway, okay, it's like say it must be run as administrator, so just like that, run this as administrator, and look at that, this is my shell installer, so, you can watch my, like, video how to install it manually if you, like, consider be a professional developer for this, well, anyway, let's go next, it's like, open source at the GNU license, so, agree with them well and here is like the part you can like change some of the settings like after it will be installed well so i will change it that the taskbar will be on top as well and you can also set up your custom color on the properties you can change it like it will be synchronized with your windows accent color already so that means if you go to windows settings personalization and colors so it will record every color what you have set so if you for example set this red color the color will be red as well and here is also the preview how it will be look like well and then here down is actually what type of the installer you want to install it so i like even try my best like to add some of the explanation like to this tooltips so you can read those anyway i will explain it as well so if you choose to install it and use as the explorer that means it will actually not modify anything it will just like copy the files and after stuff you will see like the explorer is running in reality then some command from window will pop up it will end the explorer and just like stop this shell 
without like modifying anything so if you like want to not worry that something will break up so you can like choose this option etc so we gonna like first choose this with the explorer so you go next and it's not like as you want but it's really recommended to create a rest point even when like something will not happen but anyway i i am recommending it still well, so you can like create a stop point and some reason I have it turned off. I hit install. Wait, what? If this will pop up, like then install it manually still. Because like, I cannot like figure out some of the errors. Like why is this like not going on? It even here says importing registry tweaks. So in my code of the shell installer, you can even look at this code by the end spy program that it will look for the import me files and then import me too, etc. So yeah, at three nothing happens. So let's choose ignore. Um, okay, anyway. Well, anyway, in some reason it can like happen, like for example this, so just import it manually and what this like does will create a sub key on your registry, like specifically for the shell where all the settings will be, etc. So just double click or import them, import this as well. There we go. And after that, I got the few instructions here in this shell. Uh, I don't know, when I tried this installer, it worked on my mind PC, but for some reason this VM doesn't work. I don't I don't know. So I'll try to maybe Windows Defender did that uh, anyway. Just like copy of cutter for the new shell and just don't worry. Go here, Windows, and just paste it here. As for admin tabs, it will be here. Just, just this folder, nothing else. And then you will select ignore, and set up as successful. So start the shell now. So if you want to start the shell now, so you can, or choose like start the shell from after next boot. So we'll go because we need the shell. How it will work. I also include also some other links, helpful links. So, how can I uninstall this shell? You can like screenshot it, anything. So, it has no in uninstaller. So, you basically just remove the folder again and it will be gone. And also the registry file. So, start the shell now, finish, and it will stop like this. Uh, okay. <laughs> and in some reason, yeah, okay. It will like take some errors. Probably I made here some mistake. Wait a minute, just like re enable this checkbox and look at that. It is like here. So, and it's so easy. The shell installer is still here. So, just finish here and just go away. Well, okay, this is all like shell that we now installed. Now I'll choose the install with MLG desktop shell, which MLG desktop, like you can use this shell as well, but I also included some of the ways here in this tooltip so you can read it. Yeah, basic, okay, let's choose this option to I will show you it while I'm doing that. So just click next and go to MLG desktop official GitHub page, so just like select, I don't know, here, download the latest release of MFG Sub, so it's like this version, it will somehow like, see it's like a virus for some reason, stupid Microsoft Edge. Yeah, there we go, keep it anyway, so I think disable Microsoft Defender because it will like okay Microsoft Defender is not here um okay just normal install it set this as default like to the current user so select next I also 
like include like create a directive for image desktop so you can like press this then click browse like this and it will create a whole new directory so like just for this but then for some reason when I tried it out those files weren't there anymore so choose the normal option where the image desktop will be click next and here only those three things so image tray image workspace and image core select install and now the tricky part is here so you don't even like need any reboot so you just like select i manually reboot later so i will install so it will detect you have ml desktop installed click install import them manually just ignore those let's make this there we go and just select like ignore ignore and again if this will happen cut the folder to Windows directory, just paste it here, and there you have it. So just ignore, and it will like pop up this message box. So, and now start the shell now. So, pick this option, click finish. So, just run Task Manager, end up the file explorer. So, like, end task here that the explorer is not here anymore. Run new task, run user in it. Uh, if you don't know what you are doing, like me, then just like lock off. Sign back. And MFG desktop. Why well, is not here anymore? Anyway. Uh. Wait, what? How is this like not possible? Okay, I like choose the option. Look at that. So like mine windows is like working fine and what is here actually so it will just merge the MH tray here into this so you can actually have system tray icons here and well yeah okay. Like, I am happy if something like breaks when I will use it and I will fix it. And basically, yeah, use it's good. And for this stuff, you're like, you must configure the image desktop stuff. It's like the same thing as I said in the old video. And yeah. And then is here a last option that will just install the shell. Nothing else, but as you can see, I don't really recommend this feature because the working area will not work for example that the window will not dock like not full with the windows taskbar and stuff like that so again by your own risk well and that's all let me in the comments how you feel how the shell look like what do you want to improve it and yeah thanks for watching and have a nice day